Hi everyone, welcome back to Chapter Talks from the Reading Room. I'm Archana and that here is Gayatri. Hi guys. Uh, and as always, we bring you two books that we have read uh, and would like to discuss with you about. So what is the first book you'd like to bring up today? I actually went the other way this time around. I watched a series and then I decided to go check out the book. All right. Um, so it's The Queen's Gambit. It's a pretty famous Netflix series right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, it's been on my suggested list forever, I think. Oh, the series is amazing and then I got very curious. So when I found out there was a book, I could not resist. So the book is written by Walter Tavis uh, and The Queen's Gambit is a story of an orphan called Beth. All right. Uh, who is a chess prodigy. Yeah. So that is the basis of it. But more than anything, I like how they took the story of a prodigy and didn't make it all about her success. And the story is about her Scrabble. grappling with fame, with um, substance abuse. A lot of different themes come into play about being a woman during that era, right? When is it uh, based? In it's set in the 1920s. Okay. And how was the writing itself? The writing is beautiful. Walter Tevis is an author that I hadn't heard of before, but yeah. I couldn't help but admire his storytelling capabilities. It's descriptions. It makes someone uh, completely understand what is going on, even though I have no clue about chess. Uh, I think the one thing that set out this book for me is that it's a very light read despite the seriousness of the subject that's being talked about. It's a very light read. I finished it within a couple of hours and I really, really enjoyed it. See, that's a big thing. I, I think we're all fans of dense texts and beautiful prose. But from time to time, I think the real, real issues need to be said lightly and simply for everybody to understand, you know. Not just the issue, but the fact that, hey... Look at it simply. Think about it simply. Do we have to complicate things so much? Yes, so, I yeah. completely agree. So, yeah, that was my book. What about you, Ash? What did you read? So, I'm going to pick up something very light. It's called The Perils of Being Moderately Famous. It's like a memoir written by Sohali Khan. Ah, sounded familiar. <laughs> yeah. And it's, uh, so I'm not a big fan of, you know, uh, getting into the life of Bollywood uh actors but honestly i i don't know why i picked it up it, it just felt like this would might be a little different because moderately famous right and it did turn out to be a very light very breezy very humorous uh book uh i think the one thing that i like the most about it is how intelligent her voice is and i feel very insufficient talking about her intelligence because of the sparkling education she has and the world view and the exposure and how she is she actually has this really, really smart way of approaching and looking at the world. So, uh, would you say it's a dive into what it's like belonging to such a famous family? The pressures of it, being in the public eye, all of that? Does it Honestly, it? she's not. Oh, she's approached the whole thing with this very breezy humor. So, right. it talks about heredity. You know, it talks about the Nawab side of her family. And very, very interesting insights into the Tagore side of the family as well. Oh. Uh, and again, she, she talks about... Her Balliol days, she talks about her work, about making the difficult decision, whether you're rich, whether you're not. At the end of the yes. day, you are on a crossroad where you're making a decision about going with your heart or going with a stable career that your education has afforded you. It, it talks about relationships, failures and success. It talks about marriage. It talks about friendships. It talks about motherhood and her struggle or her thought process behind it. So she talks about the difficult things. Uh, in a very humorous way that oh my god this happened you know it's not oh my god I went through this so I like that approach it seems like it's a very relatable side of celebrity life you'd say yeah <laughs> and I think she's my favorite thing about it is on the one hand she's not gloating about her uh, amazing life and her family or anything but she's also not apologetic about it oh my god guys I do know this has happened but you know I also had to struggle that's also not there Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. I've seen so many celebrity biographies where that is like a predominant Yes, thing. I have to. Okay. There's a lot of, so a lot of them go into gloating and a lot of them because they don't want to gloat go into the whole, but my life is also a struggle. And I, I, I know she's balanced that very well and oh. I like that bit. It's very breezy. It's a light read. So that's our two books of this week, guys. Um, if you've read these books or if you've even seen the TV series, do let us know in the comments how you feel. So yeah, until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Like, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon.